So, <clears throat> in last three classes, we have discussed about the PDV sections and the data step creations, the compilation phase, execution phase, and output method, right? Okay. So, <clears throat> how? Yeah, I'll just uh, explain you the ba basic programming uh, part again. Okay, so data demo ID is equals to we are declaring inside the quotations the variable type is. Character. 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 Okay. So age is equals to 20 and name is equals to John. Output. So I am entering the one more record. So one or two data set, 22 age, Alex. So when I execute this program, when I execute this program, so everyone know that we'll get two observations in this data step because this data set has only the single iteration process. So based on the single iteration process, we are getting two records, right? And one more thing, uh, demo to input ID dollar and age name dollar. Three variables I'm declaring by using the input statement and I'm passing the values ID age 22 and name can give Okay, so I'm executing this data step as well. After that, set two. So I think everyone know about the PDB process, how a demo process will execute the data set. This is the single iteration process. And next, demo two is a multi iteration process. And demo three is also a multiple iteration process. But there is a difference between demo two and demo three. So what is the difference? When we are executing this, when we are executing, when we are executing demo two by using input method, for each iteration, the variable, it will display as a missing value inside the PDB block for each iteration, right? But when we are declaring, uh, when we are executing uh, that this data step by using the set, set method, by using the set method, here the previous iteration values are retaining into next iteration. So I told you in the last class, right? The previous iteration values are storing into next iteration for this. 
Okay, so so I just I'm just letting you know that. So here, when we execute the program, how many observations we'll get here? Two, Two observations. Four. Here, how many observations? Four. Four. Four observations. If suppose I'm just giving x is equals to ten, and and so and next time you yes, you are declaring the statement is called output. Next y is equals to twenty semicolon output. When I execute this program now, we know that in demo two data step, how many observations we have? Two observations. Now, when we execute demo three data step, how many observations we'll get? Six. Six. Six observations. Yes. Four. Four. Four observations and six four observations, six, six variables. Four observations and six variables. Five, Five variables. Mm -hmm. Yeah, five variables here. Yeah. Perfect. So, any other answers? I just need some clarification. How many observations will get here? Two. Two. Two, right? Two. So, and one more thing, please confirm me that. So, when I'm just removing the output statement here, output statement here, Suppose in this data step, when I run this code, how many observations I will get here? One, 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 one observation. It will, it will execute last. Uh, Only latest value. Latest. latest. Last one. It, yes, it will give us the latest value, 100% right. So when we just check inside the demo 11 data step, you can see the 10222 and Alex the values, right? So my question is, my question is, so which part is sending the observation into demo level? Yeah. How we are getting four records? PDV. Yeah, PDV means? Reading the environment. Reading the variables. No, I told you the no, temporary iteration. iteration process, right? Yes. So here in this program, how many iterations we have? Two one. One, two, one, two. one iteration. One. One. Don't confuse. Don't confuse. That is the reason I'm telling you multiple times. Please practice at home. Okay. So how many iterations we have inside this data step? One. One, one. one iteration. So one. when we are executing this data step, so how many observations we are getting? One observation. One, one. one iteration. Yeah. So here the iteration is sending to the record to this output data set. Here also iterations are sending. Here iterations. We have multiple iterations. Here we have only single iteration. So here we have four iterations. The four iterations are executing to in demo to data step, right? Yes. So then, how many observations we are getting here? Two. 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 So two here we are getting only one. one. Uh, record. Why? Because we haven't declared any output statement here. But here we have declared output statement. So then, how the relation is going in between? Uh, underscore n underscore it means iteration process and output method. It means it is multiplying. Yes or no? It means this demo data set has single iteration. This demo data set has single iteration. Otherwise, you can tell me the answer DSN uh, run. When I execute this program, how many observations I will get? One, 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 one observation. One observation and one iteration. One iteration. So one observation and how many variables? Zero. Zero, Zero variables. variables. Zero variables. So, so when I execute this data step? Two, uh, Zero. two, two, uh, two observations. Two observation, and, two observation and zero variables. Zero variables, right? Variables. So here the relation 
So here you need to concentrate on the point. Here there is a relation in between only iteration process and output method. There is no relation between data and output statement. Okay, so on that when the statement executes on that particular time, what values we have inside the PDB, those values it's storing inside the data step. That's it, right? So here we have the formula. What is the formula? Number of iterations into number of outputs is equals to number of observations. Yeah. How many iterations we have here? Only one yeah. iteration. One, iteration. one into two outputs is equals to two observations. Right here, we do not have any iteration. That is the reason. Sorry, outputs. That is the reason the data set contains only single iteration process. So uh, the single iteration process is sending one observation into demo eleven data step. That is which we have the values lost inside the PDB block. So it means one zero two twenty two and Alex. Those values is storing into demo eleven data step. Right. Next. So here. In demo to data step, we have multi iteration process, not the single iteration. How many iterations we have inside? Four. 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 Actually, it's generating five iterations, but it's executing four, four iterations. Four. Four. Yeah. Because the fifth iteration, for the fifth iteration, we do not have the values inside the car yeah. statement. That is the reason the fifth iteration is terminating and it is executing the run statement. Okay. Next, next. When you remove these two data uh, lines, yes, we have the four iterations. Why? Because demo two data set has four records. So now we just added two records here. Just added two records. So it means when we execute this program, now tell me how many observations we will get. Six. Four. Four observations, six variables. Then again, the same answer. What I told you here. How, how many observations we are getting? Two. Two observations. Here, how many observations we are getting? One. 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 Why? Because here, iteration is sending. Here, based on the iteration process, the output statement is sending the observation into demo data step. So, what is the formula? Iteration into observation equals to observations. Here, in this data step, how many iterations we have? Mm. Demo to data step. Four. How many iterations? Four. 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 It means four iterations, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So here, how many output statements we have? Two. 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 So then, when we apply the formula, how many observations we'll get in demo to data step? Six. 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 I will like four into two eight. Don't add the subject. Multiply the subjects. Multiply the output statements. How many iterations we have? Four. Four, right? Multiply Four. with how many uh, output Four. statements? Four. 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 Eight. 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 So you need to tell me the answer is eight. For this, you need to write the PDB. It means everyone know the diagram, right? Already, I do. Uh, yeah, we have discussed in the first three classes. So please follow with the diagram. Okay. ID is equals to missing and age is equals to dot name is equals to space along with underscore error underscore underscore n underscore is equals to one iteration process. Okay, this is the first iteration process. Output. What variables we have and along with we have local variables x is equals to and y is equals to x is equals to and y is equals to. So play name x y. Okay. Now it will read the first record details, which is coming from demo to data step. What values we have inside demo to? 101.22 John. So it will just read the values 101.22. Next John. After that, after that, it will read from here the cursor we will move to next statement immediately. Okay. So it will read x is equals to 10. 
After that, what statement we have? Y equal out output. Output statement, not y is equals to. After x mm -hmm. equals to ten, what statement we have? Oh. Output statement. When output statement reads inside the data step on that particular on the particular position, it will execute the data. What values we have inside the PDB? What values inside the PDB now? When the first statement is executing, what are the values we have now? One zero. One two. Twenty-two. X. J H N and ten. 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 Twenty. Dot. 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 Twenty. So for this line, there is no i uh, y value. So which is coming from PDB? We have only the missing value. Are you getting my my point? Yes. So in this line, in this line, only we have the x variable value, right? So yeah. when we are executing the first output statement, when we are executing the first output statement, do not have the y value. So y value it will give PDV value. It means what is the PDV by default value? Missing value. Dot. Numeric. Yeah, numeric means dot or character means space. Missing value by default values. Okay. Now, now after that it will read twenty, right? In the same iteration, it will read twenty. After that, what statement we have? Output. Output statement. When this output statement executes at second time, what values we have inside the PDV? One at one, twenty-two. It means same values. Same values, right? It will just yeah. check that y value. Okay. So for one iteration, how many records we are getting now? Two records. So one at one record is executing twice, two times. Why? Because we are displaying two output statements inside the data step. So now, so after this, it will start with the second iteration. Okay, second iteration, and then when second iteration starts, you know, right? Everyone know local variable values automatically it will get missing, and source data set variable values it will retake to next iteration. The source data set variable values it will read into next item. So this part is clear for everyone. Why the source data set variable values will read into next iteration? Copying set. I told you in the last class as well. Yeah. I think. Okay. So again. It will read the second record, one zero two, next twenty three, and next allies. After that, it will read again the x is equals to ten. Okay. And then what statement we have? Output. Output. So next one zero two, twenty three, next allies, ten. Allies again, twenty. Then for the so here we have what is the value dot dot so and next same record it will repeat and it will update the twenty twenty one or three for two records for one or three record you will get two records one is for x is equals to ten and next one is for y, y is equals to twenty twenty okay is it clear for everyone yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Now, I'll just I just need to explain one uh, small update here. Data. Demo three set set demo two. So everyone know that I'm just repeating again the part put underscore or underscore and next underscore. 
Okay. When we execute program, if suppose if you are using two output statement, same thing here also, you will get same data. You can declare any statements in between input and cards. Okay. So when we execute this program here, see now. So in input method for every iteration, you can see all missing values in input method. For every iteration start, it means in this place, you can see all missing values. After reading, you can see the data, the updated values, right? But coming to uh, set level method, the first iteration is coming from, which is coming from PDB level. After that, first iteration updated values. Next, when it is start with the second iteration, now you can see the first iteration values are retaining the first iteration values are retaining into it means the carry forwarding into second iteration. So the first iteration values are carry forwarding into, into next iteration. And here you can see the updated second iteration values. And then again, the second iteration values are retaining into third iteration. And then you can see the updated third iteration values. And even third iteration also, it is retaining into fourth iteration. It means like this, it will move on uh, retaining the previous iteration values into next iteration. But when we check with the, so, but when we check with the, local variable here agm is a local variable agm is a local variable now you can see there is a difference in between source and local variables difference so the first two lines are fine no issues but when it is starting with the second iteration part you can see the source data set variables information is retaining into next iteration but the local variable value is not retaining to next iteration it means for all local variables it means inside uh, this data step or input method, whenever we are declaring the local variables, here also these are all the local variables, right? So for all local variables, PDV by default, it will create when it is just changing with the iteration as a missing value. For each iteration, it will start with the missing value only. After that, it will update the updated value what we have declared inside the data. So is, the, is this clear, clear for everyone? That is the reason you can see only missing value for HM variable. But source data set variable is retaining into next iteration. Is this concept is clear or any questions? Clear. Clear, right? So now I have the question. So what is that means? Now I want to act this local variable like the source data set variable. This local variable should work like a source data set variable. It means it means it need to retain previous iteration value in previous iteration value 24 into next iteration. Next previous iteration value 25 into iteration. Next previous iteration value. Uh, under, uh, iteration three value into fourth iteration like that it need to retain okay like that it need to retain for that we have the statement is called for that we have the statement is called retain it's very very important statement regularly we use on the work environment and it will retain the source data set variable value. It means it will retain the local variable value into next iteration. It means when we are retaining the, when we are using the retain statement for that particular variable, it is nothing but a source data set variable. So now you can see 
when we are running this data step automatically you can see the previous iteration values are retaining into next iteration see here in the previous it is not uh, retaining why because this is a local variable but when we are applying the retain statement now this retain statement is retaining is retaining the iteration value into next iteration now you can see here the first iteration value is retaining into next iteration the second iteration value is retaining into third iteration the fourth iteration value is retaining into fifth iteration like that so is it clear for everyone because the pdv it will execute in the looping process it means it, it, it will execute in a built-in loop process in the iteration level so in that looping process there is a difference in between the variables which is local and source data set variables so we call all source data set variables or which which data set we have declared inside the set statement but all local variables are manually what we have declaring inside the data set. so there is a difference so if you want to act like the local variable also a source data set variable we need to use the retain statement then only it will work otherwise it won't work and we have mul multiple concepts to discuss by using the retain statement for this we need we require too many classes to cover okay on that particular time i will explain very clearly and which places we need to use retain statement what is the purpose and how it will retain the values exactly okay now you can you just know, need to know the point is the retain statement it will retain the values previous citation to next citation that's it so if you know that the basic point it is enough for now the actual use i will explain in the next classes okay is it clear is it clear or not yes 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 right yes yes now i'll just show you some uh, log notes when you are practicing uh, when you are practicing sometimes we may miss to declare the values in different types now you can see here the variable type is the uh, what is the id variable type Character. Character. Now, but at, at in same variable, we are entering a numeric data. In same variable, we are entering numeric data. So, is this any possibility we can read uh, inside? A, we can read in a character variable numeric data. Is there an, is there any possibility? No. So, this is a character variable. In this, we have some character values after that we are storing the numeric data is there any possibility store numeric data into character variable automatically so we'll check now so i'm executing this program and and then again when you open you can see the same data so it means it is reading the numeric data as well into the character variable it is reading the numeric data also into character variable. So then we need to check what we need to check. We need to check the log window, how it is executing. Is, the, is it giving any uh, nodes or any execution phase of uh, related nodes you can see now? One note you can find here. This is regularly you can face when you are working. So what is that note? Numeric values have been converted into character values. What is that note? Numeric values have been converted into character values. It means, it means the ID variable is already declared as a character variable. But at second time, we are declaring one numeric variable. So, to store a numeric a numeric value into this character variable, will it store automatically? No. So then, here the PDV is converting this numeric value into character type, and then it is storing into ID variable. On that particular time, it is providing one node. It means it is doing one job right. So which we have done the mistake. So we are not declaring inside the course. So for that mistake, the PDV is 
automatically it is converting that numeric value into character type and it is storing into id variable so that is the reason you can see the the same value one or two as a character value inside the id variable so the process of pdv is converting automatically numeric value into character type so if suppose if suppose at the same way i am just declaring I'm declaring the here age is a numeric variable, but I am declaring inside a character value. Will it read the numeric variable? Will read uh, read that this character value into age variable? No. It will okay. read. It will read. Then again, you can see one note. These character values are converting into numeric values so the pdv actually age is a numeric variable and next we are entering character value so the pdv is converting this character value into numeric and it is storing into the same value into age variable so that is the reason you can see the note the character values have been converted into numeric values in the place you can see the positions 303, 303, 5. So this is the position. And this is the 13. So in same line, we are getting two nodes in different positions. Okay. When you open the demo data step, you can see the same 22 value. Same 22 value. If suppose, if suppose, Instead of declaring uh, 22, if I am declaring A, B, will it read this value now? Previously, we have the PDV is converting the character value into numeric. That is 100% perfect. But on that, in the quotations, we have only numeric digits. So, when we, so the numeric digits, when we are converting into uh, numeric part, if the, uh, the numeric digits are declared in a... Um, character type the when the pdv converts into numeric automatically this value it will convert into standard numeric value as a 20 but in next program we have declared the text it means alphabets a b so the alphabetical values will it convert automatically into standard numeric values no right there is no possibility so and then how it will read the the character it means letters or any text data into numeric variable is there any possibility dot no so no so we do not have any possibility so here what pdv is doing here this pdv is converting these values into numeric type so there is no possibility because the data is invalid so to convert to numeric, to convert to numeric, the data is invalid. So that is the reason you can see the information invalid numeric data to convert into numeric type. Okay, invalid the character data to convert into numeric type. And you cannot, so here are you finding any syntax errors? No, why? Because syntactically the program is perfect. Syntactically, the program is perfect, but this is the execution level error. This is the execution level error. So we are always discussing the automatic variables or underscore error, underscore, and underscore, and underscore, right? Now you can see the value underscore error, underscore is equals to one. Previously, always you can see the underscore error, underscore is equals to zero. Now you can see underscore and underscore is error, under, underscore error, underscore is equals to one. Why because, why because when it is just trying to convert uh, the different data type. So here the variable is numeric. So this value when it's trying to convert into new character into numeric, the value is not a valid. So the, the value is not uh, the valid value to convert, right? So that is the reason the 
execution phase is giving an error value. The execution phase, it is giving an error value because the data type conversion is not going, uh, is not going, is not going properly to convert into numeric part. That is the reason underscore error underscore is equals to one. Okay. Is it clear why when we are get when we will get the underscore error underscore is equals to one? So when we have the data type conversion that is not readable, the PDV it will automatically convert any type. So in that case also the value is not suitable to read the value into numeric or character type. Then the underscore error underscore value it will give an error. So what is the error point? Invalid data for the particular variable. So automatically it will give the missing value. Okay. Is it clear for everyone? Yes. 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 Okay, fine. Now. No. So when I am executing this program, when I am executing this program, now tell me ID H name. What is the first observation value? 101, 20, 20. and 20, And what is the six, second observation value? 102? 22 William. 22 million. Yeah. Million will get total value or any uh, truncation is available here? It will read up to will. It will read up to will. Will. It will read. It will. Why it will read up to will? Only four characters. Because the child is only four letters. First line we yeah it's a four. Four letters. Four letters in yes. name. So when we are declaring the variable manually. When we are declaring the variable manually, so the variable length it will create based on the value declaration. The variable length it will declare the uh, it will create the based on value declaration. So how it will declare the value declaration? It means when the compilation phase is compiling that variable at the first time on that particular place, how many characters it is finding? Those so that uh, it is counting total characters and it will give the length of that variable. How many characters we have? Four characters. So four is the length for name variable. So the name the length is already is uh, the defined inside in this first statement itself. When it is reading the second time when it is reading the second time so the name length is already set right in the first line so now what is the length value we have seven length value we have so in this 11th length value will it read inside four length of name value uh, four length so only we have the four length right in name value in name variable so will it read total value no so it will accept because why because each letter it will take one byte of memory, right? Each letter or each character or the alphabet, anything, it will take one byte of memory. It means name variable has four bytes of memory. Name variable has only four bytes of memory. And next, we are entering the data seven characters. So we know that each character, it will occupy one byte of memory. It means there is a space only for four letters. We do not have to for the next other letters. If we have one letter, two letters, ten letters also, it will read only up to four letters only because the, the name variable length has only four. 
So that is the reason here the truncation is happening. You can see only will. It will not display the William full length value. Why? Because the length process, it will define before itself. So now we have the question. How can we, how can we uh, declare the length for name variable? We don't know, right? For the first name, we have declared only first four letters. In uh, and next onwards, we may get the more than four letters word, right? So automatically, how could we assign for length. this? We have the statement is called length statement. To ignore this problem, we have one statement is called length statement. For that, we need to declare the length as a keyword first. And then we need to declare the variable name. We need to declare the variable name. After that, you need to declare dollar. So you can give the length, a required length. For names, maximum we can say 20 is the length for name variable. So that is the max value. So more than 20, it means we need to declare, we need to increase again the length. Now I'm just declaring 20 is a max value. Now you can see it means we need to make a habit when we are declaring the character variable, when we are declaring any character variable, we need to declare a length statement before that variable creation. Okay. Why? Because we don't know. We may have hundred and thousand, thousands and lakhs of data. On that particular time, we don't know on which place the data is truncating when we are creating the new variable. So when we are making a habit by using the length statement, it means so we can avoid the truncation of data. Automatically, we can view the total data, what we have exactly inside the intro, existing data. Okay. So always you need to keep in mind when we are creating a character variable, we need to declare the length statement before that variable creation. Okay. So we need to declare the required length for that particular variable. For name, we may require in regular process 20 characters, 20 characters. So 20 length I am just assigning for the name variable. Now you can declare up to 20 characters inside this name variable. You can declare up to 20 characters when you open. Now you can see John William. So now you, you may have the question. So in second position, we have, we declared a name variable, right? So when I, when we open the uh, data step, you can see name variable in a first position. Why? Because we declared a length statement before ID variable creation, right? We declare a length statement before ID variable creation. It means first, the name variable is creating before the ID variable. That is the reason it is displaying first after that the ID variable is displayed. Okay. Any questions? So in that case, uh, do we need to uh, give this length statement to ID and age as well? Because sometimes age may be three digits and ID may be yeah, more digits. Good question. So ID variable, you can give, suppose five. Okay, age is a numeric variable, right? So here we are declaring a dollar. Why? Because ID is a character. Here also we are declaring a dollar. Even name is also a character variable, but Age is a numeric variable. Do we require to uh, declare a dollar symbol? No. no. So we need to declare only a length of that variable. So when I execute this program, now you can see the length demo file. What is the length? Three, best to 12. Yeah. And if you are not declaring also for length variable, by default, declaration of the length is 8. It is minimum, the numeric variable, the minimum length is 3 and maximum length is 8. If you are declaring or not declaring, automatically it will take the numeric variable length is 8. Automatically it will take. There is no, it means only for character, you can say number of digits, number of letters, how many we are entering, 
it will uh, uh, give the length, it will count these letters and it will give the length for that particular variable. But coming to numeric variable, this is totally different. Numeric variable by default length is 20. By default length is 20. It means how many, how many digits will it read? It means in general, in our calculator, how many digits we can enter? Or 10 or 9 digits, right? So those many digits it will read. Otherwise, after that, if you are giving any extra digits, it will give the exponential value, right? In mathematical, you can see. So at the same way, it will execute now. So still it is reading. If you are increasing more to the digits, So the max length is eight. It means in age way, uh, in numeric variable, it won't consider this one digit, two digit. So it will not occupy uh, the one length and this, uh, this letter is one length, not like that. So this total is the standard numerical value, right? So it, will, uh, it the by default value is eight, that's it. So it will read total numeric value what we have. See now the exponential value. If you type the same value inside your calculator or phone, also it will give the same result. Okay. Is it clear for everyone? Yes. Uh, Raghav, how about the space? Like you know, accidentally if you give some additional space or uh, because data we never know, right? Like how does it count the space as well? Uh, like for example, between two and two, we give us some uh, additional two uh, two letter space. How it how it works? Where uh, a space between? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Does if it matter? Even space also, it will consider the one length. This is one length. How many spaces we are declaring? It will consider those many spaces. It will include as a length for this variable. Okay. Okay only for the numeric uh, character. So if you are applying a uh, length, it means will it consider? No. So here in between you are considering the spaces also, the character values it will read, but will it consider when you just to separate the value? No, because this is the numerical standard values. So there is no separation for that. Okay. Yes, thank you. Okay, and next, I'll discuss formats and informats. Informats. So I think in first class, we have discussed the date value, it will start from 1960 Jan 1 onwards, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, okay. So everyone knows that. So in our SAS rate, it will start 01 Jan 1960 is a zero day. And next 02 Jan 1960 is one day. Like that, till now, you can just check the present date 2402-2022. So from here, it will count the days. The previous, it means the minus values. Previous, it means minus value. It means 31st December 1959 is minus one day. The previous value, minus two day like that it will give the minus values before this is the all place values okay so data i'll repeat again
Yeah. So here, when you are reading the data, you can see inside demo to data step. This is a numerical standard value. This is the text data, character data. So it means 1960 Jan 1 onwards till this data. How many how many days it has? This 22,000 something. Those many days we have or till now from 1960 Jan 1 onwards. Okay, this is the formatted point. The D is there, right? This is the formatted point. So yeah, we'll discuss first this part. Data. Employee data input ID dollar sal cars one zero one twenty thousand next one zero two twenty two thousand next one zero three twenty five thousand one zero four thirty thousand okay so now you can see the emp data but here i have commas commas when I execute this program, when I execute this program, now, so now you can see the commas in between values, right? So the numeric value will accept the decimals, 20.5, 10.5, it will read the values, no issues. But here we have the comma, it means we have the special characters. So will it read this, so the value, it, will it read inside this numeric variable? Salary variable? No. It will give a syntax error. Now you can see. So the input buffer, it is showing the error. Invalid data for sal. What is this? Invalid data for sal. So it is not reading 20 comma uh, 000. Here also 22 comma 000. Is not reading the data actually, but we have the data like this. How can we uh, read this data? It means to read this data, we need to ignore this comma. Yes or no? We need not remove. We need to ignore. It means we need to mask that comma, and uh, we need to read original numerical value. So for this we have it means here is this a character value totally no is this a numeric value totally yes it is a numeric value but there is a comma how could we redo and we need to mask that comma and we need to read the actual value is there any way it means we have the way what is that way we need to read or we need to read the data by using in format statement we need to read the data by using in format statement it means it means here we need to declare in format and after that we need to declare the variable name and then we need to declare the in format name in format name so what we have the value here the special character comma it means we need to declare comma comma and then we need to declare the length. How much length we have? Six. So six dot. Now you can see. Is it giving any error now? No. So it is perfectly executing without any issues. Why? Because why? Because we are using informal statement. So what is the purpose of informal statement? When we are using the informal statement, informal statement. It will read the non-standard value into standard value. What it will do? It will read the non-standard value into standard value. It means here we have the comma. So what 
the informat is doing it means here what what informat name we are declaring comma six dot so this comma six dot it will mask this comma value and it will read the original value now you can see inside the employee data set any commas any comma values are you seeing inside the salary variable no why because the format in the informat statement it is removing the comma values and it is reading the original data. It is reading the original data. So after that, if suppose, if suppose, but we are masking the comma values, but I need to display same comma value in between the uh, thousand and uh, digits. So hundreds and thousand in, be, in between hundreds and thousand, I need to separate with comma for this informat statement is reading and masking this comma value but i need to display in data level how could i display for this to display anything to read non standard value into standard we need to dictate the input in format to display uh, anything if we, if we require only for the to display it, does, uh, it means we have the standard value right and then we need to display with comma so how could we display by using the format a cell and same comma six dot you can mention automatically now you can see in emp1 comma values okay so now you you may understand in format statement is required to to read the non standard data into standard and format to display only for the display okay it will not standardize anything to display only it will uh, read the standardization so displaying it means it will not dis, uh, change the values permanently only for the viewing purpose only for the viewing purpose only it will display the back end original value is 20000 only so when we are just checking with any any conditions or anything so if suppose sal is equals to 20 comma thousand you should not declare like that so what is the original value actually 20000 so you need to declare the 20000 only so now you can see now here so when i execute this what is the informat name the data is reading comma six that and what is the format we are declaring applying comma six that and what is the type of variable a numeric so if you want to uh, remove the commas uh, in between it means you need to just uh, remove the format and apply automatically you can see the original values okay Any questions? Clear, perfect. Okay, I think if you start with formats in formats, it will get, take at least for now time. Okay, so we'll discuss in Friday and I'll conduct exam on Monday uh, and, to, and day after tomorrow, I will complete formats and even attributes also. Keep drop, rename, label, all attributes and uh, remaining information also. So Monday you have exam what we have covered till now, okay, In, uh, including the Friday's class.
Okay. Okay. Yeah. One minute, please. Hello. Yes. Yes. Yeah. What if in case uh, we are trying to retrieve some uh, mail IDs so that uh, it may consist underscore or at the rate symbol at that time? No. 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 Is this for only for the numeric data? There is a standards. It won't read all characters data. Okay, for example, for example, here it will, uh, you can assign uh, even dollar dot also. So to display the format, you can just use exist dollar spelling. Yeah. Yeah, right. Okay, these are user defined formats. What we are declaring, these are all user defined formats. And next we have time and uh, date user defined formats. Sorry, system defined formats, not the user defined formats. And next, uh, after some classes, we need to create the format and in formats by using uh, proc format. That's is a user defined formats now we are discussing only the system defined format it means only for the timing and date variables except these two format and in formats okay so you are saying at the rate symbol so at the rate symbol is a character pure character right so it won't accept right so only when we are declaring the data the data is not a character type and we have the possibility to that that is some standard numeric data so that but we have declared in a non standard format so on that particular time if you want to read that data we need to declare the input statement in format statement then we need to uh, uh, apply the in format name for that particular variable okay here you can see this is a character data, it will read inside the character variable. At the rate symbols, anything it will read. But after the quotation, we are declaring D, right? So what it is doing, the D is doing, uh, it is converting, this is a non-standard value. So the D is doing, it means in format statement. It is applying the in format and reading non-standard value into standardization. So when you open the demo to data stuff, you can see only the standard value. For this, if you want to see only for view, you need to, uh, if you want to see same date line dot format, same like what we have declared in the data step. For this, if you want to see inside the data step also, you need to declare the format. Only for the view purpose, you need to declare format and then you need to de uh, declare the format. Okay? Yeah. Any other questions? Okay, thank you. And uh, I told you right regarding the fee structure. So I'll send you the details. So please uh, send as soon as possible with my Indian account. So please let me know. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.